All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to dye this hair that I was talking to you about uh, with some Ritz Rip dye. And I'm going to use silicone conditioner. We're going to paint it on there. Got me some gloves. This is what I rip, okay? So we're going to put like eh, about a half a cup. Uh, it's probably a little more than that because when she did it, she only did like hair pieces. And I'm going to do the whole wig. So I want to do a purple. I got royal purple. It could get all over the place. So first of all, I'm going to put some of this purple in there. Shake it, shake it, shake it. I'm not doing the water method. method. You can see, I'm just going to pour some in here. And kind of mix it up there a little bit. So you can kind of see. Get it all incorporated in there. Got to get it all mixed in there. See, it's getting pretty well mixed in there. This is a silicone conditioner that I got for wigs. And I got synth a synthetic dye. One girl used the water method and she used this. Uh, it seemed like the conditioner... Uh, did a little better but I also got this sapphire blue that I'm going to actually put in there also so let's pour a little bit of that in there see if we can get a more deeper blue uh, purple let me mix that up be careful because it can splatter so let me incorporate all that in there make sure it's incorporated good Uh, we're going to put this, I'm going to paint it on there, and then we'll leave it on. I'm going to wrap it her up. All right, I think she, it looks pretty good, the color. See there? So I'm going to take this brush, just the old painter's brush. Once I put this on, I'm going to leave it for 30 minutes. I'm going to put it in a baggie, and then I'm going to take her out and rinse her and shampoo her. So... Which is fine, because I bought that silicone uh, conditioner, and I haven't really used it. So, uh, I mean, I used it one time, of course. I bought it, so I used it. But well, like I said, if I could get mostly the blonde dyed, then I'll feel good because. The dark color could be in there, you know, I'll have to flip her or see, like over here, she still needs to be, you know, under here. Now I'm using purple, but um, I've seen YouTubes where they even did like uh, the roots, where you have a root, you know, you want it to look like you got a rooted wig. And they used a dark brown or, you know, a darker color. Yeah. 
me get this underside. And I kind of like this method a little better because you can control where the die goes. Uh, on the other videos, sometimes, especially if you have a, like a lace front, you're going to get that all over that lace front. Where this way, you can kind of control it where it's not so much. I'm going to add uh, a little more. So let me get my, then I got a little stick here. Like I said, I have this conditioner that I bought. You know, I'm, I'm kind of new to this stuff. So I had opened the oven and burnt my wig. <laughs> and, and I was like, what? And so some uh, people that I know in a wig group I'm in, they suggested this uh, conditioner. It's still, you know... You could tell it's burnt, but it's wearable. You know, I could wear it now and not have this big old burnt place. You know, she did several uh, ways. So now I made a little batch. I'm going to kind of go in here and get it all around the edges. And like I said, even if it's got some blonde showing through, I mean, that's not going to be that terrible. Let me try to get all these little places. Underneath here. I mean, this is, uh, you know, I told you this wig had a lot of permitting, so it's got a lot going on here. Anyway, they say doing the rip dye, it, it still makes your hair, you know, soft and you know, it doesn't make it stiff or anything afterwards. It's all stiffy and you can't wear it. So let's get all this underside here. And you gotta go close to your band or, but. keep this so it's not all over my counter. <laughs> I'm glad you can't see me because I am sweating my butt off. It's actually kind of cool here today in the 50s this morning. <laughs> Crazy weather. I think because this is for synthetic hair, it's not going to really, uh, you know, bother the fibers. This is how she's looking. Ah! But I'm going to take what's in here and kind of rub it on the bottom with my hands. I'm not one that really likes to waste stuff. So let's put her all in here. See if we get her all. I think that's about it. There she is. All right. There's how she looks. She looks pretty dark. I don't see any light, too much light. Put her in this bag. And I'm a siller for, and we're going to wait. Uh, so I'll come back to you when I get that done, okay? All right, everybody. It's been like 30, probably about 40 minutes. I'm going to take her out of this bag here. Dispose of this and let's rinse it. See, this is a color. I don't know if you can kind of see it. I see I, I missed some places. So they say to rinse it till, you know, like any dye that you would do, you would just rinse it till the water flows clear. 
we're going to see. I see some of it's not really taken back here. So it might not hold. We'll see. You know? That's how you know. See, like some of it's coming off here. I mean, I didn't use all my dye, so I can surely do uh, the water method because it might not look bad, though. I mean, I can see the blonde in there. Lighter, and it's lighter purple. See, you can kind of see like the, it looks shiny, but I mean, probably hard to tell on there. It definitely colored it. I don't see as much blonde, and the blonde does look like it's uh, a light purple, very pastel. Now, I'm going to add a little shampoo to this. I got this uh, brandy wine shampoo for wigs. I think I'm going to put a little bit on there. And just wash it up. Because I don't want to wear this wig and then, you know, she bleeds all over me. <laughs> you know, you don't want that to happen, so. I'm just taking some of the color off that I expect. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of more blonde coming out still. So, but you know what? I never think it's going to be too bad. We rinse all this out. Here's the inside. She's still, you know, it's not too bad. Little places, but this is a dense wig. Remember, I told you it was really dense. So. If you had, you know, one that wasn't as dense, it might get on your cap more. She does have uh, the blonde in there. But uh, we'll have to let her dry because I see, you know, tinge of purple. It might have made the underneath darker. I don't know if I need to put any conditioner on there, but I think I'll put a little bit, and that's also the brandy wine conditioner uh, for wigs. I try to find better instructions on it because she just. You know, said she, because she did uh, like a strand, like, you know, how you buy a clip-on. She had that, and she did the bottom half with the, or the top half with the conditioner, and the bottom half she did uh, in the water method. I'm going to squeeze out some of this. I don't know, this is how I do wigs. I'm going to let her dry. I mean, I can see, like, purple, but uh, the blonde is definitely a different color blonde or different color than it was. And I think to speed up the drying process, I'm going to put her outside. All right. Let me clean up my mess, and I'll talk to you later.